Award-winning gospel artist Kim Burrell issued an apology to the LGBTQ plus community during the 2024 Stellar Awards. You know, we have a church lingo, we have a church jargon that everybody doesn't get. And sometimes you've got to say it for the people in the back. And for that, I want to apologize to the LGBTQ community. Members of the Body of Christ have responded to the apology, stating that Kim Burrell has compromised the gospel for fame and fortune. And why is it that the church is constantly apologizing to Sodom and Gomorrah, but you never hear them apologize to us? This is the rebuke of Kim Burrell. In 2016, Kim Burrell preached a sermon on homosexuality in which the remarks that were made were upsetting to the LGBTQIA community. Fast forward to 2024, Kim Burrell was set to be presented the Aretha Franklin Icon Award at the 2024 Stellar Awards. Yet during her acceptance speech, she issued an apology for her past remarks to the LGBTQ community. And with much soul searching, I have come to fully understand the reach and impact of my voice beyond gospel music. There is such a care to take when you realize you're not just preaching to the choir anymore. You're preaching to the ones who wanted to be in the choir and was too scared to come because they didn't understand our language. Musicians, the God-given ability to unite and to heal and to understand that some of my past words, comments, preaching has been received by the LGBTQ plus community as negative and hurtful. There is nothing more hurtful than to think, to imagine that you said something in the name of God and it hurts somebody. You know, we have a church lingo, we have a church jargon that everybody doesn't get. And sometimes you've got to say it for the people in the back. And for that, I want to apologize to the LGBTQ community. Let's give them a great big round of applause. We want them to have strength and to sincerely know that we must all do the work to embrace all of what God's people and show forth his love to everyone. Amen. Amen. Tonight, I hope that this award and this moment can be the beginning of a bridge building and listening to each other as we follow peace with all men and develop the character of God, which requires seeing God. This sent a shockwave through the Christian church, where different pastors and bishops were stating that Kim Burrell is compromising for fame and fortune, and that instead of compromising, she should stand firm in her faith. After Burrell's apology went viral, Bishop Patrick Wooden Sr. of the Upper Room Koji Church gave his rebuttal, stating that Burrell's comments were not biblical. You know, that's what the world is saying to the church. We've got to adjust. You know, if, you, if you saw the Stella Awards, you saw the, the uh, lady apologize to the homosexual community and say we got to build a bridge. That's not biblical. The Bible asks, what communion have light with darkness? What? What fellowship have he that believeth with an infidel? What? What do you mean build a bridge? How are we going to do that? And why is it that the church is constantly apologizing to Sodom and Gomorrah, but you never hear them apologize to us. He 
elect lady Patricia Owens also responded to Kim Burrell's apology, stating that she is compromising for popularity and fame. Here we go. All right, now it ain't time to be backing up in July 2024. Now how you done made a stand for Jesus all your life, born into holiness and right, and now you wanna back up and act like you with the LGBT. Leave me alone and let me preach up here. How in the world you get up there and apologize for standing for Jesus? You mean to be with the LBGT, you a slap Jesus in the face? If you said that you need to go back and tell Jesus, amen, he was wrong. Listen, let me tell you one thing. If you're looking for all these LGBT, you need to be going back and repent to J-E-S-U-S. Forget that foolishness, forget that foolishness. That ain't love, that's not love. You're lying, you're just scared and you want some popularity and fame. That's what you are, you scared. You need to get back up, you ought to be ashamed and you old folks. Old folks then turned into old devils. Oh, leave me alone. Now I can understand we trying to bring these young folks in. This is a new dispensation for them, but you old folks ought to be, you ought to know better than that. How you sit there and apologize when you should be holding up a standard for Jesus. You don't love them. No, you don't love them. You love your likes and you count. And the reason that you're mad, amen, because you're afraid you won't get an extra dollar. I don't need your dollar, amen. I've got Jesus. I've got Jesus and he owns everything. I don't need your dollar. I don't need you to like me. Listen to me and listen to me and don't get mad at me if you're LGBT. You can get saved just like I did. I ain't concerned about no LGBTQ. I'm concerned about J-E-S-U-S. You ought to stand up like a sanctified woman of God, a sanctified man of God, and say, for God I'll live and for God I'll die. If the Bible says, if the Bible says that's a sin, don't you change your mind about sin. Don't you change your mind about sin. Sin is sin, amen. You cannot be a lesbian and on your way to heaven. Shut up, devil. I'm preaching to these lying folks that's keeping you out there in your sin. You need to be ashamed of yourself. Well, let's get all get along. No, you're going to get along in hell. That's what you're going to be along with. You need to go back, amen, and know what you're old. You're too old. You're too old to be sitting up there backing up on the Lord now. You need to stand up and say the Bible says a man should not love a man. Go back to Deuteronomy and go back to Romans. Stand on what the principles of God say. And if they don't ever give you another penny, you ought to be glad you're on your way to heaven. It is the truth that sets you free. Is Kimberell justified for her apology or is she compromising the faith for fame and fortune? Leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me your thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been Last Day Church.